Hi everyone, so let's continue our journey and in the couple of videos we are going to talk about Nest CSV testing with the Type ORM, SQLize, Mongoose, Prisma and then we will start our journey with the end-to-end -end testing. So in the Nest CS you can write end-to-end -end testing with the super test or Pactum and we are going to build test suite. We are going to run the end-to-end -end test, tests on CI-CD pipeline. We are, we are going to run the coverage and we are going to cover all the scenarios of end-to-end -end testing. So let's stay tuned. In this video, we are going to play with the unit tests where we are using Prisma. I mean, Prisma may be talking to either, SQL, uh, either uh, Postgres, either MongoDB or MySQL. But we need a Prisma interface, Prisma schema and a Prisma client is being used to access the entity models. I mean, when you are using type ORM, we use type ORM repositories. Same for the SQLize, we use inject model. In the when we are using Prisma, we use a Prisma client or Prisma service. Prisma with the help of Prisma service, we are able to access the model object using this dot Prisma service dot entity. Now let's try to understand. I mean, we can have either MongoDB, uh, MySQL, or Postgres. Any different database can be there. Now, how can we mock the Prisma service? Because Prisma service is an interface which is helping us to talk to the database. So, what our end goal is mocking the Prisma service with the right interface so that we don't need to really access the real entities, the real database entities. We are dependent on the mock interface. So, this is the project for it. We are talking about NestJS testing Prisma. So when you are using Prisma in any project, what all things you need? You need a Prisma client in the dependencies and Prisma as a dev dependency. Prisma client is something which you can generate using NPX Prisma generate. Prisma client will register all your models which you are having. And here I am dependent on Postgres SQL. That means I need to provide a database URL in the ENV. And these are the migrations which I can apply NPX Prisma migrate dev that will apply your existing migrations. It will ask you, okay, you want to clean up your existing database tables. We are playing with this. So we can say, okay, I'm fine. Clean up my tables and create this whole new setup for me. So it has created honors and the cat model. There are two database tables we are creating, cat and honors. Cat has a, honor has a, honor has a, uh, let me see. Cat has a reference of honor. You can see that is defined here. You know, inside our Prisma schema, we define, okay, how our entity models looks like. And here, cat has a relations with the honor entity and a foreign key, I mean, the primary key here is the honor ID and reference to the ID of the honor. So there is a primary key, foreign key relationship exists. And when you do NPX Prisma migrate dev, if you have existing uh, entities migrations created, then it will apply them. Otherwise, you can also create based on your entity. npm run build, I'm checking if my application really works. npm run start. So it is very simple application which has a cat and owner. I mean, we are assigning owner to the cat interface. And this is our Prisma model. Inside a Prisma module, we have a Prisma service. And a Prisma service is something which is making sure that we already have a connection to the right uh, interface, database interface. Either we are using Postgres, MongoDB or MySQL. So we are going to inject the Prisma service, which is extending the Prisma client into our services. And through that Prisma service interface, we should be able to access the database entities. You can see Prisma service already extending Prisma client and Prisma client already have a, all the entity models in it. I mean, Prisma service is making sure that we are connected to the database or if any uh, global methods you wanted to write, you can just enable shutdown hook. So uh, shut down our database on init. We may need to make sure before we initialize the Prisma module that we are able to connect to the database successfully. We cannot run the APIs without database connection. So that is being done through a Prisma service and that is being imported in the Prisma module. Now this is what we are doing. This is a Prisma service. We are injecting the Prisma service into the NestJS service. And well, after doing that, we are able to access the models using this.prisma.cat. 
this dot prisma dot owner this dot prisma dot cat dot find all these methods we can access here you can see this dot prisma dot cat find many so this model uh, exposes lots of methods like find find many find unique save insert update all these methods are available there are two models available on this prisma client object this dot prisma dot owner this dot prisma dot cat and there you have a find many find unique create update delete based on criteria i mean that is just a basic type orm crud so what we are going to do we are going to mock this prisma service using provider so that we know okay what prisma service model contains so we should be able to uh, assert based on the mock data so let's write our service test cases here i am just creating a mock cat object because we need it while writing a mock uh, service so we need to create a mock of prisma service so prisma service has a two uh, interfaces cat and owner and we can override the methods of cat like find find unique and all these are uh, different is just a cat array a collection of cats we have defined here and then here we just one cat is cat array of zeroth index if you want to access the single cat and here let's start writing the test cases describe service create service and let prisma okay prisma service and now we will just do this we will create a testing module before ev before running each and every test case this before each block will execute and here we are saying is const module equal to uh, await test dot create testing module and inside that we can pass our service okay here we are passing providers inside providers we have cat service and then provide the mock implementation of prisma service so cat service and then here provide we are talking about prisma service and use value uh, so you can you can override it using different things use value use class use factory so here we are creating a mock db for the prisma interface and how it looks like find many find unique so prisma service it should have actually uh, all these methods should be inside a cat object so inside db we will have a inside db we will have a cat object and inside cat we will have a find find unique all these methods defined and now you can get the uh, cat model or cat service you can also anote the type so this service is of cat service and then we can get the prisma of prisma service now we can simply say is a cat service defined and now we already have provided the mock implementation so we can just call it call the methods like await service dot get all get all we have already mocked which is going to give you the cat array so we can uh, assert it expect cat to equals to the cat array similarly the get one service dot get one a uuid when you are calling a get one method we already have we already have mocked prisma service method which is find unique and that is returning one cat so this is how we can do the assertions because this service dot get one indirectly this is using the prisma service interface this dot prisma dot cat dot find unique and find unique we have already mocked so this is how we are writing a simple unit test cases and you can just do the assertions and this is how everything is defined so similarly you can write a multiple methods like insert one passing the data and it should be resolved with the one cat similarly you can do update delete insert all these different different methods we can test delete one so here service dot delete when a uuid should resolve to the deleted true because we already have a mock method on that you can also do a spy on particular method call the actual method and then check that that particular method has been called or not so this is all about testing i mean that's a basic stuff unit testing we have covered once and then it is just a duplication okay mocking and then checking if method has been called or just provide a mock implementation of a, a repository or a service and then check after calling the service method are we getting the actual same output or not and here i'm just checking the coverage npm run test 
this is a simple spec file and this is a simple controller spec and what we are doing in controller while testing the controller we have to provide a mock for the cat service because we don't have a prisma service there we just have a cat service and cat service has fixed set of methods get all find one cat delete one cat just provide a mock implementation using just there just dot function dot mock implementation or mock implementation once all these methods helper methods are there on the jest so we can take a look how we are doing it so this is how we are just providing the mock methods get one insert one update one delete one and jest uh, dot fn dot mock implementation that is going to return you this object okay so this is all about how we are doing the testing with the prisma interface